we're super excited with the team we're building inside the agency who's very, very committed to it. But none of this would have been possible, as I said, without the leadership of people around this table and those on the phone who've been raising this, and especially leadership to my left, Norma Smith, which I was honored to meet last year when I first came into office. And I think her enthusiasm and energy and we can get it done attitude at tops mine by far. But she's been leading this entire effort of really raising the profile of the issue of forest health in the legislature. Norma Smith has been that champion and she will continue to be. And I love it too because we have champions on the east side of our state, but oftentimes it's trying to get the western part of our state to really understand how forest health and the condition of our forest is not impacting just one community or one part of our state, but impacts all of our state. And so I'm glad to have you here because we actually have an award for you. So this is made from a grand fur that is actually was killed by beetles in uh, Eastern Washington and then removed through the forest health funding that you were so significant and critical in making possible. And I just really appreciate you helping us get to this point and I look forward to a further partnership and being able to make this a successful program for everyone here in Washington. Thank you. I say this matters. If this is beyond politics that that we have a moral duty to steward that which we own, not just for today but for the generations who follow. And so thank you for this. It means the world. Um, and just know that out of all of the stuff I worked on in the legislature, this is just for the sheerest joy. Just, just knowing that we're making a difference for generations to come. So thank you for your work. Thank you for what you're going to do with it. I'm truly, truly grateful and excited to see what comes next.